Welcome to question number 7. In this question, we're told that at time t seconds, the length of the side of a cube is x centimetres, and that the surface area of the cube is s centimetre squares, and also that the volume is v centimetre cubes. We're also told that the surface area is increasing at a rate of 8 centimetre squares per second. And in part A, we've got to show that the rate of change of x with respect to time, dx by dt in other words, is equal to a constant divided by x. And we've got to find that constant k. OK, so you might like to pause the video if you'd like to have a go at this, and just come back when ready and check your answer. So welcome back if you had a go and let's just see how you got on. Now this is a typical question that involves connected rates of change. And whenever I'm doing connected rates of change, I always look at what I've got to find. And in this question we've got to find dx by dt. So I'm going to write that dx by dt over here in the margin equals, and now I use the chain rule. And using the chain rule, this would be equal to the top value, dx, divided by d by something, times d by the same item here, as I would have written here, all divided by dt. OK. And the million dollar question is, what goes in here? Now, I get a clue in this question anyway that the, they tell us that the surface area is increasing at a rate of 8 centimetres squares per second, which is really like saying ds by dt equals 8. So that seems to hint that that should be an s here, ds by dt, which we know is 8. And if I write ds there, I must write it in over here. So this is now giving me the framework in which I'm going to answer this question. OK, so we know ds by dt. I've now got to work out dx by ds. And what we know is then a connection. We're trying to find a connection between the surface area and the side of the cube x. And that's obviously uh, very simply that the surface area, um, let's just put now s equals, that's the surface area s equals, well, the area of one face is going to be x squared. And all the faces are the same because it's a cube, so there's six of them, so that must be 6x squared. And from this, I can find ds by dx if I differentiate it with respect to x. So therefore, what I've got is ds by dx equals, differentiating this with respect to x, just gives 12x. Now we want dx by ds rather than ds by dx, so that means I've got to invert this. So therefore dx by ds, let's just write that in, will turn out to be 1 over 12x. OK, I also know uh, the result that I mentioned earlier, that the rate of change of the surface area is equal to 8. So that means that the rate of change of the area, that's ds by dt, equals 8. 8 centimetre squares per second. OK. Now then, what I'm going to do is now figure out what dx by dt is by using the chain rule um, expression that I've got up here. So I'm just going to call that back into play. So I'll put but dx by dt equals dx by ds. OK, ds multiplied by ds by dt. Ds dt. OK. Which equals, now dx by ds, we've seen here, is 1 over 12x. So I'll put 1 over 12x in. 
multiplied, I'll drop the multiply sign, I'll just write that in brackets, times ds by dt, which is the 8. Now, if I multiply this out, I can see that I'm going to get 8 twelfths, or it cancels. 4s into 8 goes twice, and 4s into 12 goes 3. So what that's going to mean is that dx by dt is going to be 2 divided by 3x. Okay. This is the same as 2 thirds times 1 over x. So you can see this is identical to what we have got to find up here, a constant over x. So this is the same then as, or should I say is identical to k over x, where k equals the two thirds. Okay, so we found the constant, and if you did this, well done and you would have got yourself four marks for this question. Okay, so that brings us to the end of part A. So moving on, now we'll just scroll this up. We've got to go on to part B. In part B, we're asked to show that dv by dt equals 2 times v to the power third. Now just like in part A of this question, it was on connected rates of change. So I'm going to work off to the right here and try and see if I can figure out what values we're going to uh, connect. So we've got to find dv by dt, so I'll write that in over here. And it's going to equal dv by d something multiplied by the same d something over dt. So the question is, what do I put in here that's the same? Well, I've only got the letter s or x to choose from. Now, I know that we've got ds by dt because that was 8. But if I put ds in here, I'm going to have dv by ds here. And I can't think that we've got anything that... Uh, we can use to uh, work with that. So I reckon it must be x. And when I think about it more, I realize it is because I know the, but the, about the volume. Uh, we can find the volume in terms of x of the cube. So I'm going to go for dx. OK, so put that in. So that's the basis now that I'm going to use. OK, so we come back over here and we know that the volume v is equal to the volume of the cube, which will be x cubed. And I need dv dx, so therefore I'm going to differentiate this expression here with respect to x, so therefore dv by dx is going to equal 3x squared. OK, having got that, I'm just going to recap that by saying that since dv by dt, just quote the rule off on the right, dv by dt equals dv by dx multiplied by dx by dt. OK, I can fill this in because dv dx we see is 3x squared, so I'll put that in as 3x squared and multiplied by dx by dt, and this was our answer in part A. Remember, dx by dt was 2 over 3x, so we'll put that in as 2 over 3x. OK. What I notice now is that the 3's cancel. 3 into 3 is 1, 3 into that 3 is also 1. 